Hi, I'm Ivalice Page, and thanks for listening to the Believe Big Podcast, the show where we take a deep dive into your healing with health experts, integrative practitioners, biblical faith leaders, and cancer thrivers from around the globe. Welcome to today's episode on the Believe Big Podcast. My name is Eva Lise Page, and today I'm doing a special solo cast on a topic that I get asked frequently about, and it's how to stay healthy while traveling. I'm going to share with you things that I've learned from my integrated practitioners over the years and a few of my own that have truly been a game changer when traveling. Knowing your travel schedule well in advance allows you to support your immune system to perform at its best when subjected to travel stress and people who may be sick sitting next to you. As we begin, I have to share this medical disclaimer. The information that I will be sharing today is for educational purposes only. It is not intended as a substitute for the diagnosis, treatment, and advice of a qualified licensed professional. All right, so here are the top things I do before flying traveling. I truly believe that our immune system has an incredible ability to heal. No season or virus of the year should stop you from living your best life and seeing and visiting those you love. So here are some suggestions that I do. The first is the day before flying, the day of flying, and the day after I fly, I take extra immune boosting supplements. I take between one to three grams of vitamin C. You can determine how much for you based on your bowel tolerance. I take 40 milligrams of zinc, and it's important to take that with food so that it doesn't upset your stomach. And lastly, I take, believe it or not, 50,000 IUs of vitamin D3. And again, it's for the day before, the day of, and the day after. I also like to organize my supplements for the time that I'm gone by day using these little individual mini baggies so that I can easily access daily and throw them in my pocket or a purse before meals. They just make it really handy to stay on track when you are traveling. The second thing I do is a Myers cocktail IV before I fly. If you are unfamiliar with what this is, it's a nutritional IV that you can either get at your integrative practitioner's office or even at an IV bar locally. It was originally developed by Dr. John Myers, who's from Baltimore, was from Baltimore, who used it to help his patients battling chronic illness. It contains large amounts of specific vitamins and minerals that can improve your overall health and immunity. It has things like magnesium, calcium, B vitamins, zinc, glutathione, and of course, vitamin C. So that is really great. And I always try and plan that for a day or two before I fly. The third thing I do is every day in the winter, whether I'm flying or not, I use MycoShield Immune Support Spray. They have a one ounce size that is perfect to fit in any carry-on. I actually met the founder at the Society of Integrative Oncology Conference one year, and I used their host defense mushroom capsules actually during my cancer journey. So it was really great to meet him. Mushrooms are a functional food and they help to augment the body's immune system. It supports stress and fatigue reduction and provides support for daily environmental salts and deliver enzymes to support digestion and absorption of nutrients. So it's actually all of my kids' easy and favorite tool as you just spray it into your mouth four or five times and they have flavors like peppermint and cinnamon. So it's not like you're tasting mushrooms. It actually is almost like breath refreshment. So that is a really cool tool to have for everyday use in the winter, even when you're not flying. The fourth thing is I travel with purple coneflower spray by Uriel Pharmacy. And for sore throats, nothing better. If you start to feel something coming on, again, nothing better. It's a spray version and it has the right amount of ounces so you can travel with it. And this spray is made with echinacea, sage, 
calendula, and eucalyptus that helps to soothe and to heal. So when our kids used to get strep or painful sore throats, this is the only thing that not only soothed it, but also helped to heal it. Telling you it's a must have to have in your medicine cabinet or to travel with. The fifth thing is that I bring my compact and portable angel air purifier. This is something new that I got probably about two years ago. And I love it for two reasons. The first being that some hotels and VRBOs cleaning services use products that are harsh, really strong odors, and they actually affect me. So most hotels I've found don't have windows that you can open, which makes it difficult to get clean, fresh air into your room. So within an hour of being turned on, not only are all the odors eliminated, but it sanitizes any exposed surfaces. So before I had this though, another solution is I would actually bring a portable essential oil diffuser, but this angel air purifier, love it. I travel everywhere with it. The sixth thing I would suggest is to stay hydrated to prevent fatigue. That's a common thing, but a good rule of thumb is one glass of water for every hour you're on a plane. So wanted to make sure I mentioned that. Number seven is another item from Uriel and one that I have actually used for 14 years. And it's their Arum Lavender Rose Cream. It is the best to rub over your heart and it's used to temper airily relieve and protect you from stress and tension as needed. It's really a favorite of mine and it contains homeopathic potencies of horse chestnut, horsetail, St. John's wort, gold, and myrrh. It also contains a peat extract, a lavender oil, geranium oil, rose oil, and frankincense in a non-greasy cream base. Another newer lotion that I use every day is their Solum Asculus Massage and Body Oil. If you haven't tried that, oh my goodness, it's amazing too. This body oil not only has a calming effect, but especially for me that's sensitive to it, it helps fight against environmental fatigue and encourages emotional strength. It smells amazing too. And what sold it for me, and I know you might think this is funny, is that I was told by one of the workers at Uriel Pharmacy that it made her legs glisten like Carrie Underwood's. And I'm like, okay, anything to make my legs look like hers is definitely a plus, <laughs> but it's fantastic. So definitely another one to enjoy and to use. The eighth thing is, as I briefly mentioned, electronic magnetic fields are everywhere now, and especially in planes and at airports. Over the last few years, I started to get more and more sensitive to them and even get migraine type headaches. I know I've shared this before. I discovered that it was due to the EMF levels while traveling. And even at some hotels, I didn't realize that they would host the 3G, 4G, even 5G towers on their rooftops. I did a podcast, if you're interested to learn more about this with Dr. Deborah Davis with the Environmental Health Trust about the health risks of cell phones and 5G if you want to learn more. But when I travel, I make sure to wear protective clothing now. I used to have jewelry that I would wear, which would help too, but my favorite now are the clothing from Lambs. I wear their baseball cap and has been more than scientifically proven and certified to block wireless radiation and UV rays. So it's the same material that they would actually use for astronauts. So if it can help them, it definitely will help us. So by mitigating the oxidative stress, like these EMF with products like lambs, it helps to balance your immune system and to fight off infections. They report that 62% of the people have also an increase in sleep quality too, which is also a uh, great plus when traveling. Number nine, when I am traveling for long distances, I love compression socks. So definitely a must to have when you're traveling for several hours and they help to increase your circulation in the legs and also help your feet to prevent from swelling. So definitely something to look into for long flights. And last but not least, Number 10 is exercise. 
either in your room or in the hotel gym, there are so many apps available and sweating is such a great way to detox after a flight. It also helps to sync your circadian rhythm and post-flight information. My newest favorite app that I've been using, and I love it because I can use it at home and also when I travel and not have any interruptions into my exercise schedule, is by Peloton, a Peloton app. And even if you do not have a Peloton bike, you can download the app. And I believe it's like $12.99 a month for the app. And it has thousands of workouts on there. And if you want to know my favorite, definitely Robin Arson. She's from Puerto Rico. She's my girl and I love her. She motivates me and has really helped me on my new health journey this year. Great tip for you when you travel. So there you have it. Today was just a very short snippet, but I really wanted to make sure I got this out there and making sure that you're prepared next time you fly. I'll make sure to add the links to the items I mentioned in the show notes in case you're interested in learning more. So have a great day and thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support our podcast, please subscribe and share it with others. Be sure to visit believebig.org to access the show notes and discover our bonus content. Thanks again and keep believing big.